What's going on guys? Rob with Three Strong. So you're hanging out at your little holiday party, having some fun, feeling good about yourself. And then you go to the food and it's just a bunch of crap. No, it, it could be cookies, it could be sweet stuff, it could be just these fatty other kind of foods and it's just over the top. You got some crazy macaroni casserole, whatever it might be, and you're going, oh my gosh, Coach Rob told me about carbs and sugar and this is just overload for me right now. What do I do? I, I, need, a, I need my little safety net here. Well, your safety net are two things, the veggie tray and the meat and cheese tray. These two things, if you're at a, a party and you're wanting to know where should I go, well, does this sound too different? Is this much different than what I already recommend? Meat and vegetables. No. So let's stick with that as a solid base, and then you can have little bits of the other food. Instead of having, I'm going to have massive mounds of lasagna, unless you just gave yourself license to eat some macaroni and cheese or lasagna, whatever it is. You know, hey, it's your body. It's up to you. But anyway, this isn't far from the regular base that you should already be eating. What this does is, like I've described before in some of my other videos, is when you have those low-calorie, um, nutrient-dense, but not calorically-dense foods, this takes up a good amount of space in your stomach. So you could have, I mean, just handfuls of broccoli, and that's not even going to come close to the amount of calories and fat and sugar that you find in those little, little dessert little things, you know, your tiny little holiday sweets that you might have. So if you have that solid base of these foods, then, and also going with the meats, what that does is that fills you up with, with quality food, not a lot of calories. It's going to have you be fuller so that when you go to maybe eat some of those other foods, you're not as, you're not as hungry. Um, I would recommend eating this first. Always start. That's why I call this my base because if you think of your stomach essentially as this bowl, what you're going to do is build a solid base. And of course your body is going to work on that base first so that when you add anything else to it, you know, it's second, third in line uh, in, terms of, in terms of digestion. So we want to create that nice base of crunchy vegetables. You can get some meat on top of that. I wouldn't go crazy on the cheese because you're going to, um, especially if you're going with the sweets, you don't want to have that high fat, high sugar combo. So if, if you have your meats, you have your veggies, and then you go for other things, it's going to make the night um, not a lot easier, but it's going to make it a little bit easier because that stuff's in your face. You know, it's right there. It's easy to... Grab a quick little bite of the sweets and throw a couple back before anyone notices and you can get on with partying and having those conversations. Have the base, meat, vegetables, and then think about uh, attacking that cookie platter. It's a tough call. It's a tough time of year. If you are strong enough, you can do it. See you guys next time.